Hello, this is Paul Check. Today I thought I'd show you one of my favorite simple Tai Chi exercises, which I just call it Chi circles or making Chi circles. So the basis of all Tai Chi that we want to get right first is our breathing. So what we want to do start is just pra to start is just practice. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Remember the breath should be two thirds belly expansion only the last third chest. Always breathe in through your nose if you can, out through mouth or nose. So inhaling, only in the last third, then just exhale by just relaxing. Two thirds belly, one third hand. The next thing we want to remember is practice getting lateral expansion of the ribs. Most people carry a lot of stress in their low back, a lot of emotion, and the muscles, the quadratus lumborum muscles, sit right on top of the kidneys. So if we get too tight back there, we lose the natural pumping that supports the kidneys and the adrenal glands, which are commonly stressed in people today. So if you find the bottom of your 12th rib, which will be somewhere around here, as that belly expands, the last phase of the breath, you want to feel those ribs expanding. So you'll see my thumbs moving away. You want to take a nice full breath, but you want to avoid struggling to the point that as you, if you're trying to fill yourself so full that your muscles start turning on like you're straining, that's a bad habit pattern to get into. You want to keep it uh, relaxed, but work your full functional range. Now when it's moist out like this, it's a very good time to do Tai Chi. Your best times where the chi field, the life force energy is the strongest, is the first hour of sunlight in the morning and the last hour of sunlight in the evening. But as I say to my students, the best time to do Tai Chi is any time you'll do it. So right now it's uh, a little later in the morning. It was raining too hard to come out earlier and have video film. So right now what we're going to do is just enjoy being connected to the earth. That water really grounds you out. The moisture in the air makes the atmosphere dense, so there's a lot of life force energy. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the very simple exercise I create for myself called Chi Circles. Now, it's important to remember that Chi is any form of life force energy, from breath to food to the natural energy in water to prana, the energy in your own breath. There's many, many forms of Chi. But space itself is highly concentrated energy. Uh, research that was shared at the field conference when I was there a number of years ago, they had Edgar Mitchell speaking and he talked about how, and Lynn McTaggart, how science shows that there's enough energy in one square centimeter of space to boil all the oceans on this planet instantly if all that energy was released. So when we're doing Tai Chi or any of the soft inner arts, we want to remember that we are full of space and space surrounds us. The body creates the illusion that there's space out there, but the space out there and the space in here are the same thing. Knowing that that space is just fully charged with life force energy allows us to appreciate and to connect to the energy all around us. Oftentimes we're in a hurry to go get coffee, tea, sugar, whatever it might be to give us more energy, and we forget that there's an abundance of it everywhere. Now as we do this exercise, we're going to just relax, make some circles like this. And we want to pretend that we're stirring the ocean of consciousness or space, which are expressions of each other. 
And as we move forward like this, that would be stepping forward in the gait pattern, which is coupled with extension in the spine and the hip. So we want to be inhaling, letting that belly expand, and then exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. As you come forward, resist the temptation to bend forward. Keep your spine upright. Pretend you have a bean bag on your head. If you keep a smile on your face while you're doing Tai Chi, your brain and your nervous system begins to orient the sense, the feelings, and concepts of pleasure that are connected with a smile. That way you learn to associate the feeling of Tai Chi with the feeling of everything happy and joyous in your life, and it's good practice because a lot of us get so trapped in the world that we're not aware that we're sad sacking everywhere we go. So sometimes you got to take it upon yourself to create, to create the state that you want to enjoy instead of waiting for the world to do it for you. So what we're going to do here is we want to just follow that and relax. And as you get more oxygen in you, more life force energy, your aura begins to harmonize and your brain and your heart and your digestive organs start working together in harmony. So as your energy field becomes more coherent, more stable, you're able to feel the energy all around you. Like right now I can feel myself connecting to the stones and to the plants and to the air and to everything. It feels like there's no barrier between me and everything else and you'll notice after a while your energy field connects to space and you actually feel almost like you're moving your hands through water in a swimming pool and you realize that we are kind of like a fish that doesn't even know it's in water but we're in space or what is sometimes referred to as the ether So the exercise is quite simple. Just keep good posture, inhalation as you come forward, through the belly, letting your ribs expand, coming back. You want to move your body with your breath. So as I'm breathing, I'm moving, and as I reach the apex of the circle and start coming back, I'm exhaling. And then as I reach the apex of the circle, I begin to inhale. When you get relaxed enough, if you're out in nature, you'll find out that the trees and the plants and all sorts of spirits begin to want to play with you. So you might start feeling yourself being moved in a different direction, like right now I'm being turned this way by the energy in the area, in the stones. If you come into your session and you're a little bit wound up, then let your movement and your breathing match each other. So if you feel a little wound, just let your body unwind. If your front leg gets tired, just switch. And as you start relaxing, all of a sudden, usually without even realizing it, you'll just start slowing down. And sometimes your body will begin guiding you. You might feel the urge to come up and to turn this way. You might find the urge to twist. 
or to go down. The secret is have no plan. Allow whatever wants to happen to happen. Just follow the flow. Learn to go into no mind and just let yourself be guided by the wisdom of nature all around you. You'll notice that you just get high, quite frankly, <laughs> uh, a very cost-effective high with no negative side effects, and your energy gets thicker and stronger. As your field gets more coherent, you can run your fingertips past your face where most people are sensitive, and you can feel that there's energy running right out of you. And if you do it in the first and last hours of the sunlight, when the sun's not so strong, as you get your body full of chi, if you turn your body just where it's not so bright in the sky, I can see the energy coming right out of my fingertips. It's got a very strong, almost looks like a flashlight shining in the night. And you can learn to practice moving it out and making it bigger and stronger or pulling it in. So when I'm doing healing work with people, I consciously move that life force energy into a key meridian or organ or wherever they need it but first just learn to give that gift to yourself because when you feel how much energy you have coming out of your hands and you have chakras in the palms of the hands as well so the hands are very powerful for healing you can learn to give love to yourself first if your heart's feeling labored or stressed about something then Charge yourself up with that smile and then bring that energy to where you need it and just allow whatever you're holding to dissolve and become the energy that it once was and fill it with something that is in line with your dream. And the secret is practice. Remember, Tai Chi is not something you get better at by talking about or reading about. It's a doing thing. So enjoy your chi circles and thanks for joining me in heaven. Sorry about all the noise today. It's usually beautiful and quiet out here, but the fire department's over there doing some work with chainsaws and they're doing some stone work over there. So we had to learn to just get into it no matter what, which is how I do it. Even in airports, you can find me doing all this fun stuff. And that's how we stay fit and healthy. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Paul Check.